I'm Tassiano Milfon. I'm a senior lecturer here at the Victoria University of Wellington. Um, I'm originally from Brazil. Uh, my mother's side is Portuguese. My father's side is indigenous Brazilian. And I came to New Zealand back in 2003 to do my PhD at Auckland University. Um, and I've been uh, in New Zealand since. And um, now I'm also a citizen, so I'm a Briwi, as we tend to say. Um, so I would like to explore with you guys um, a, a, a paper we published recently. Um, in, environmental, in the environmental domain, um, there is this idea that um, proximity to environmental issues can affect people's motivation to act. Um, so for example, we found that um, people tend to believe the environmental problems are worse there than here. Um, and in a related project um, in the US, they found that people who live closer to the coastline are more concerned about environmental problems and also hold uh, or tend to have, have um, greater climate change beliefs. So we thought, well, but the US is such a, a large country, would that be replicated here in New Zealand, an uh, island nation? So we used data from New Zealand Attitudes and Values study to try to replicate that finding. Um, so we, we used the data from 2009, so we had over 6,000 participants. Um, so we used a technique uh, called um, Geographic Information System, GIS, to locate where people live. And then from that location, um, we calculate the distance from the house to the coast. And then using that measure of distance or proximity to the coastline, we assess whether that proximity would affect the climate change beliefs. So confirming the US findings, um, we found that people who live closer to the coast are also um, more worried about climate change uh, issues and also more willing to support the government for taking action. And extending the US um, findings, we also measure the elevation uh, and control for it. Because one might argue that, well, if you are well off and you live close to the coast, but really high up, proximity to the coast wouldn't make a, a, a difference. So we control for the elevation of people's residence to the, to the coast, to the sea level. And we found that even controlling for elevation, proximity to the coast is still a main predictor of climate change beliefs. So it's important to note that um, the way we did it to calculate the distance to the coast, we used the, um, the mesh block data from the New Zealand census. So we calculate the distance between the neighborhood of pa our participants to the coast. So we didn't measure, uh, well, we didn't look at the individual um, participants, but the average neighborhood. And that allowed us also to control for the privation level of each um, mesh block. So the, the effect with, we, we observed between proximity to the coast and climate change beliefs um, were um, robust even after controlling for you know, social demographics like uh, education level, gender, sex, political orientation, and also the deprivation level of each of the neighborhoods. So what's fascinating about the New Zealand um, Attitudes and Values study is that we can trace uh, possible change because we know that people are moving around New Zealand so we can see that if that effect of proximity to the coast is stable over time so perhaps so one interesting question that we have is that would people who used to live inland um, and then move to closer to the to the coastline would that impact the climate change beliefs over time so this is something we are going to explore next and then, so this illustrates that um, our, this future thinking of um, the, the project. Um, so we we re like to thank the participants for, for taking the time and completing the, the surveys, um, because you know it's um, it's a really important data set for New Zealand, um, and there are many projects that we can explore uh, in the years to come.